Hey guys, welcome to another video from J.A. Curtis. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis, but you guys can call me Alex. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how you can get help if you run into any problems during my tutorials. Um, I get a lot of questions about this, and so I think it's great to make a video about it to um, just kind of show you guys what your options are, where I can help and where I can't help and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna walk you guys through two ways that you can get help in addition to the most obvious way which is to post in the comments below. If you end up with very generic um, problems and you think it might be related to the video that you're on, I highly recommend you post comments either on my blog, on the page associated with that tutorial on my blog or um, in the comments video on YouTube, okay? The reason this is handy is because if you post um, the problem on there, then as other people can help you besides just me, so you can get help from other people that know, because there's a lot of other people that know their stuff that are watching my videos, okay? And um, they can help you out. They might know stuff that I don't know as well. I've already seen that a few times. Someone posted um, an answer to a question that I didn't know the answer to, and someone else, a, a fellow viewer, popped in with the comment and you know answered the question for me that I didn't even honestly know the answer to. So that's sometimes helper, helpful, and the reason that's also great is because if other people have the exact same question or the exact same problem, um, they're able to see the responses right away at the bottom of the video without having to go anywhere or ask me the same question multiple times, okay? That's the first way that you can get help in any of my tutorials, obviously. Um, that's, I think, pretty obvious. You guys knew that. Where we run into problems is sometimes it's hard to um, to have lengthy discussions about code, and it's, it's almost impossible to submit code through the comments in YouTube. YouTube has restrictions on characters, which characters you can and can't have in your comments, and um, a lot of those get kicked out um, or, you know, they won't let you post them because it looks like malicious code or whatever. So sometimes it's really hard to post code and have these code discussions in YouTube comments. And that sucks. I know. So I want to talk about two other ways. If the comments don't work for you, if you need help that's more advanced than what the comments might provide, because that's the preferred method. Remember that that's my preferred method is post in the comments if you can. If for some reason you can't for whatever reason, there's two other methods that I want you guys to follow. The first is we're going to talk about a site called Stack Overflow. And the second is to email me directly and I'll try to answer it as time permits. Okay, so I will have a, if you're just trying to email me and I emailed you the link to this video and you're one and I'm asking you to send me the code the correct way, go ahead and click this annotation right now or the um, go to the appropriate time. It'll be at the top of the description where, where I start talking about how to email me. But if you haven't, I want you to try the Stack Overflow method first before you try to email me. And the only reason is just, is just because I have limited time in a day. So I can't have everyone emailing me, okay? So I want emailing me to be the last resort just because it takes me time. I'm going to try my best to do it. It takes me a ton of time to go look at your code. And if I've got, you know, hundreds of people emailing me with stuff, um, it, I obviously just can't get to it all, okay? So I want you guys to respect each other, and if you limit the amount of emails I get directly to only the people that really desperately need it, then um, that'll allow me to answer the people that really desperately need it a little bit better and help them out. And then if some day comes when you desperately need it, then when you post, I'll be able to answer to that. So it helps everyone out, a little, nice little circle of life type of thing, okay? Now, First thing, let's talk about if you've tried to answer them in YouTube comments, you want to answer them now in the next best way, I suggest Stack Overflow. Now, Stack Overflow is going to be your go-to resource whenever you run into problems and you need help while programming, whether it's a tutorial that you're following of mine, of someone else's, or of your own projects that you're doing by yourself or at work. Okay, Stack Overflow is where you want to go. Stack Overflow is also gonna be your first place to try to get your question answered um, before you come to me directly, just because this will limit the number of people coming to me directly, which means that it's a better chance that the people that have really, really desperately need the help, um, I'll be able to actually work with them because I'll have fewer people to go through the code of, right? Fewer people that I'm personally um, helping debug. So please respect each other, and that'll allow, um, when you have the need to get help, it's going to allow us me to help you better because there won't be everyone else asking me questions, all right? Now, um, asking on Stack Overflow is pretty easy. The, you start off by just coming up here, and you're going to be, you're just going to start writing your question, um, or you can actually click this Ask a Question 
um, thing. When you create, ask a question, you're gonna give your question a title, and then you're gonna just start writing, um, writing out the question, and you can submit the code. Now, they support Markdown, so you're gonna wanna use Markdown if you have. Um, the biggest thing that most people get confused by is if you just start typing text, it'll be your text. You can see that what you're typing here gets converted down here to how it's going to look. So when you go to submit your code, what you wanna do is make sure you have a full line break, there's an empty line here, and then you do four spaces like this, and now everything I type, if there's four spaces, will be code like that. So now you can see that this goes back to normal to normal stuff, but I add one, two, three, four spaces, and now I have my code, all right? Anyway, that's how it works. You're gonna submit your question, you're gonna add a few tags. I suggest if you're working with Laravel, you'll obviously wanna do the Laravel tags. As you start typing here, you'll see that there's Laravel tags. The greater the number over here, the better possibility that someone's going to answer your question, okay? So you wanna use things like Laravel, maybe PHP. In this case, PHP's got a lot of subscribers. Um, things like that, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. I think there's a maximum of four tags that you can add, and then you're gonna submit your question. And you can submit the question, and within about 15 minutes, people will start um, giving you answers to your question. It's a really good community out there that are willing to help, okay? So if you want to get my input on it, you can also create a comment on your um, question and tag me. My username is just J.A. Curtis, J-A-C-U-R-T-I-S. You can tag me on there, which I think works inside of the um, comments when you comment to your question. So you can tag me and um, I'll take a look at it. Or you can grab the link to your question and just shoot me an email or shoot me, actually don't shoot me an email because I don't read my emails ever. You know, the quickest way to get to me is take that link and then paste it into Twitter and then grab me on Twitter. So again, I'm just underscore J.A. Curtis on Twitter. So you can actually just find me on Twitter, create a new tweet, and paste that link into Twitter for me, and then I'll be able to look it up and help you out, all right? But most likely other people will get to you and answer your question before I ever do, all right? So try Stack Overflow first. Stack Overflow will probably get you an answer quicker, and it will also, um, um, you'll get help from other people besides me. If you get your answer on Stack Overflow, I do recommend you go and copy the link to your question with the answer in it and paste it into the YouTube comments so now other people that are having the same problem as you can click that, go over to Stack Overflow, see the problem you had because it might be the same problem they're having and they can see the correct answer to, um, uh, to the problem. Next thing is if that doesn't work, we're gonna head on over to, you're gonna try to email me. You guys know my email, it's in the bottom of every single description on the website, it's hello at jacurtis.com, and um, you can go ahead and email me. Please email me, if you're only emailing me, please only email me if you have tried everything else, okay? I, um, I wanna limit the number of emails I get about debugging, not because I don't wanna help you guys, but just because I wanna limit the number of debugs I have to do every single day. Um, and so only debug, only ask me for help if you can't figure it out and you've tried everywhere else, okay? And if you have, what you need to do is when you email me, you need to actually give me as much information as possible. Don't just give me the error message. I need you to actually link me to your code, all right? And pasting in code is sometimes really hard for me to follow because in emails, it'll get converted weird and it'll be like on different lines and it's really hard for me to read the code sometimes. And I really prefer that you don't do that unless you're just copying pasting like a couple lines, all right? This is how I want you to do it. I want you to post onto GitHub all of your code and GitHub is free. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second. I'm gonna want you to post onto GitHub and then send me a link for your GitHub repository in the email. So your email will say, I got this problem, Alex, I've tried all this and I can't figure it out. Um, here's the link to my code and you're gonna paste your GitHub link in there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to click on it and I'm gonna be able to look at it all on GitHub, okay? Okay, now about emailing me, I'm only going to debug my tutorials. Don't send me someone else's tutorials. If you're working on someone else's tutorials, that's fine. I don't. Uh, there's plenty of other great tutorials out there. If you're working on their tutorials, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Just don't ask me to debug their tutorials. Okay, I've already gotten people asking me that. Um, don't ask me to debug someone else's tutorials, okay? I have limited time in the day and I'm not going to debug someone else's tutorials during that limited amount of time. Um, I'll debug my tutorials, but not someone else's. So if you have problems with someone else's tutorials, go to them and email them. Don't email me, okay? 
So um, if you have a problem with my tutorials, you can go ahead and email me and um, send me a link to your project in GitHub and then I'll be able to look at it and help you out, all right? Now, how do you submit something to GitHub? You're probably wondering. If you if you already know, then you can skip to this video, end of this video and just send me the email. If you don't know, I'm gonna show you. So you need to first of all create a, um, a, Lero, a GitHub account, okay? GitHub works with all PHP, all uh, programming languages. So just create a GitHub account and um, you don't. You can just use the free account. You don't need to pay for this, okay? What I'm gonna ask you to do, you don't need to pay for. There is a paid GitHub account, which you can use. If you've got, I've got a paid one here. You can see that I've got these, um, these locked repositories that no one else can access. That's what the paid account gives you. If you um, don't have the paid account, you have unlimited access to these public repositories, which are these ones right here that are not yellow, okay? And that's okay, because that's what you need for what I'm asking you to do, is you need a public repository, so it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't even need to put in a credit card, nothing at all. So create a new account, create a free account, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new repository, okay? So you're gonna click New Repository. You're gonna give your repository a name. You're gonna say, um, in this case, let's call it Get Help. And you're gonna make sure it's public, and then you're gonna click get, uh, Create Repository, all right? That's all you're gonna have to do. Now you've created the repository on GitHub. We need to now submit your project from your computer and uh, up to GitHub, all right? Now, um, there's a lot of ways to do this, just tons and tons of ways, but um, you, if you want to, you could actually just download the, um, uh, the, the graphical interface account, which is this uh, desktop. You can download the GitHub account, and then I think it's graphical, and you can just like, I think you can just choose the folder for your project and click uh, submit to GitHub basically, and it does it automatically. That's one way to do it. I've never done it that way, but that's one way to do it that might be really easy that you can try. The other way is to follow these instructions down here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of follow these instructions, but we're not going to do the readme, all right? We're gonna follow, we're gonna do this, this, we're gonna do everything other than this first line, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move into your project. Okay, so what you need to do is find your project in your terminal. Make sure you have Git installed. If you don't have Git installed, I'll link this in the description. Uh, here's how you install Git. Here's how you, it has instructions on how to install it for Mac, how to install it for Windows, and then if you're installing on Linux, you're gonna to wanna to do this install from source, all right, for Linux. I think Linux already has it installed, I think. Most of the Linux, Linux distributions, like um, uh, I think Ubuntu has it installed already, Red Hat, I think they already have it all installed. Anyway, but if you don't have it installed, you can install it here, and I'll have this in the description. If you don't know if you have it installed, what you can do is go into your terminal and just type git, and if you get what I get here, you get a bunch of help commands, and that means you have it installed. If you get an error, that means you do not have it installed and you need to install it. Okay, so double check if you have it installed first. Next, you gotta move over to your project. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new project here real fast. We're gonna call it get help. Um, but that's only because I don't have a project yet. I'm just gonna demonstrate this. You'll already have a project created um, that you wanna submit, okay? So in that case, what you do is just make sure you're inside of your project. It should say the name of your project here and you're inside that folder. And then you're gonna follow the instructions that you have over here. Just skip the first one, you don't need this one, but everything else you're just gonna follow. And you're gonna do something slightly different here. So you're gonna do git init. So you git init, that's gonna initialize a repository. Then you're gonna do git add, but instead of doing git add and then readme, you're gonna do git add period, like this, okay? Git add period, click enter. It's gonna add all the files in your project. Then you're gonna do uh, git commit. You can just copy and paste that one if you want. Um, initial commit. All right, and then you're going to do git remote add and just do this. I'm gonna copy this and paste it. There you go. And then the last one you're gonna do git push u origin master like that, click enter and this should work. You might have to type in, um, you might have to do SSH keys and if you do, there's, um, I think there's help files on how to do that at GitHub, all right? Once you have all that done, you should be set and you can just refresh this page 
and you can see that all my project files are now on here okay so I've got all of my current projects look how I can navigate and I can read every single file in your project and it's easy to read it's easy for me to navigate I can see it it's just like working in sublime directly right next to you okay this allows me to better debug what you're doing the other thing that allows me to do is I can actually download your um, project here I can download the project and then um, um, run it on my own computer and see if I can debug it too, okay? So this helps me out a ton with it being able to debug your guys' projects, okay? So this is how I want you guys to um, send me information. So the link in order to share this is right up here. Um, just make sure you're on um, like the main, the, the main part of your project. It should just be github.com and then your username and then the name of the project and that's it, okay? If you have something else, um, with like a hash bar here or something, then I don't need that. I just need this part right here, okay? Copy that URL, paste it in your e or your email, send it over to hello at jacurtis.com, tell me your problem, paste in the link to the code, and I'll be able to look at it and help you out, okay? I hope that was useful, guys. Um, now you guys know how to share code with me. Thank you guys for being so um, so awesome to work with. I really, really appreciate it. My way to return the favor is to debug all this code for, is to help you debug this if needed, add more videos and stuff like that, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.